quickly pick up a Echo. It looks like he's actually maybe going Weapon Power Batiste here. I don't know whether this is for simply just early jungle clear, but you would never usually go anything other than two Crystal Bits if you're, if you're not a CP Batiste. This could genuinely be Weapon Power Batiste. Weapon Power Batiste hits like a truck, especially during his Soul collection. So this could be crazy. I mean, SEA meta, my goodness. Well, Impunity, as soon as they took the Elder Tree and the crowd erupted, Team Kraken moving in though. Death Q taking a lot of damage. Nice call collapse. Trapped in the Ordain as well. Mr. Dog is going to be able to just fire a couple of bolts. Death Q's way, but won't be finding too much off of going to be. They came out swinging. They were incredible in their performances. And here we go. Oh, Death Q going fairly aggressive. Uh oh, Babylon might be in a little bit of trouble. Elder Tree and takes go. a smack on him as well. Does pop the flask in the end. Elder Tree gets taken, but it gets taken by Death Q and he finds first blood. Oh, a core collapse on Moa as well. Not sure we can follow that one up with the Celeste. In the lane, be fairly imperative, but Kweezy knows exactly where he is, and Cordovoir is just going to be able to help him back off as well. And we'll see where DefQ is here. He's just actually just farming away, just making sure he can get the levels, hitting level six rather soon as well. Nice Ordain's actually going to find the stun on Babbler as well, just chunking away. If Bad Mojo's not going to hurt, but his scythe definitely is. Nice use of the. He didn't oh, block it. He, he didn't block, block it. it. There's the red mist as well. It gets opened up. This shape from over the wall. Call collapse doesn't quite land, but there's the kill. They find it. Mua does find the initial entry frag, and Kweezy does end up going down, but Cordovoir and FQ are safe underneath this turret for the time being. Yeah, a little bit of a mishap there for Kisi. Didn't block that uh, yummy catnip frenzy and that allowed Team Car Kraken to be super aggressive, pick up that kill, go for the tower dive and not going to get punished for it either. Death Q's use of his Fearsome Shade was really good to zone out the majority of the, the Team Kraken members, but it was not enough. Too much damage, or, damage had already gone down. Oh, Babylon's coming back to the turret. Ordain's actually going to find the stuff. Beautiful Ordain from Death Q is going to find the kill on Babylon as well. Gets the last basic attack in impunity. They find the next kill. This is why people consider Batiste good against Koshka. It shuts down everything that makes Koshka good. Her movement speed, her gap closing ability, that's really put to the sword with this server. Oh, seven. another beautiful ordain. Demua opens up with a red mist, sustaining, using that surface mask. Can he find the kill? A quarter of what he does. Turns it around, but Death Q slings a bad mojo his way and picks the one more for the trade. Seen them play up before. Well, they're certainly showing up right now. However, I'm looking at the state of the map so far. Although they do go for an engagement. Oh, Yummy Cannon Frenzy was, I think it was blocked there. Call Collapse does end up missing. The Gauntlet comes down. Also, Fearsome Shade gets oh, completely blocked. Go. Nice route from the EU tree. And Mr. Doxy K can't help out the rest of his team. And Moore is going to fall. But he looks to try and find the kill on Celeste. He does find the double kill at the end. But it is Mr. Doxy K with the retreat. Impunity, they find two. He's able you know, over a very short period of time. Batiste is not going to have that problem because he's got that oh, power. Oh, passageway. Oh, Core Collapse actually lands on two. Queasy fires out the Solar Storm as well. Corn is going to lock them all in place. Mua opens up with a red miss, but gets aggroed by the turret. Mr. Dog takes so much damage. And in fact, almost might go down to a minion if he's not careful. Queasy played that perfectly. Still has his fountain available, but this is going to wait this out. Might end up backing off. Rona's going to try and do her best to hold the wave up here. They don't want to allow that wave to get to the turret. Here comes Kabbalist the Koshka. coming back in. Oh, Koshka jumps in. It's going to get blocked though. Yummy Candy Frenzy not quite find the mark. Death Q's going to wander his way up from the jungle. Also, no fearsome shade. Means he can't really be that much of an impact if he doesn't uh, get close in range. However, Mr. Dog CK has come back. Nearly at war treads as well for Mr. Dog CK. I love his itemization priority here. He knows that movement speed is imperative. He's got the fountain, which is also good. Look at this turret though. Oh, there we go. First turret of the game. Impunity to take that one off the board. The range advantage you can see now against this double melee really starting to hurt for Team Kraken. Or, uh, and Babylon's actually on his way to actually pick up his own broken myth. Kweezy is going to be hitting like an absolute truck. And also important to note the two Aegis is picked up by uh, Mua and, and Baba. Oh, oh passageways to Bright Borg. Nice start oh, once again. The triple fearsome shade from Death Q. Mua finds his way to the back line. The Gorla was it's good. So good. Three man stun from Cordovoir. They trade one for one. Baba is so low over the wall. Cordovoir finds another Gorla and Death Q hammers it home. The Koshka falls and Mua just can't heal quick enough. Death Q follows him up with some more damage. Didn't quite have the order to finish him off. And that's the power of the weapon power Batiste. Even in the gold lead at this current moment in time, and they haven't even taken a turret yet either. Journey Boots and Shiver Steel picked up here for Team Kraken. Looks like their primary focus is going to be Celeste at any given opportunity. Nice Passive ordained. Heels. 
Isn't going to find anybody else, though, as the right board did come out. Oh, it's just going in hand, though. There's the red miss on the back line. Queasy's going to get focused once again. The fearsome shade didn't quite connect. They do end up crucibling it, but Queasy's, that damage is insane. Forces Pablo out of the fight. The Ordain is landing on Moore, so he can't really do anything more. Queasy finds the kill onto Pablo, and now they're going to be able to focus down Death Gear. If they oh, can, but it well. doesn't matter. Passage Way doesn't quite save the Koshka, nor does it save the Rona, and that'll be an ace. Impunity find it once again. They're going to be able to push it down the lane. And we're only five seconds away from the Kraken spawning as well. Really the home field advantage coming in. They did take the turret as well. So it's only this choke point one now that they need to secure. And here comes the range advantage. You can even hear the crowd head fully behind Impunity as you can expect. Turret is going to get taken rather, rather readily. Defcu just thinking out a couple of bad mojos and a couple of ordains. The base has been broken. The passageway into the portal. The fearsome shade gets blocked. They're trying to find the kill onto Queasy's yet again. The Koshka ultimate does land. Yummy Cat Frenzy finds the kill. Ordain can't quite. Well, actually secures Babylon, in fact. And Mr. Dog CK trying to take out Defcu. Oh, it's a 2v1. Oh he finds another 20 breaking points. Stacks manages to trade another kill through. But the Kraken is still destroying their base. They're going to lose two turrets for this one. But they do manage to find the ace. I mean. Unbelievable focus on Team Kraken. Both of them went for the same target, but I, I, Quadivar's gauntlets, Quadivar's gauntlets are just so good to get in these fights to give themselves a fighting chance. Oh, there's the passageway. Wartrose is going to get popped as well. They're going to go straight onto Creases or at least try to. Nice core collapse. Actually stuns up Koshka in the first couple of moments. Death Q going fairly low, but nice Fearsome Shade to actually disengage from Kraken. Yeah, they just used the, uh, the Crucible. They knew that that Fearsome Shade was going to be a great disengage. That's one of the reasons that Batiste is good into these styles of compositions. Here's another engage. Oh, there's the into the fray straight onto Creases. Does get the Vanguard for the movement speed boost. Babala just focusing in this turret, but the Ordained locks him in place. Right, Bulwark as well is going to stop the snare. Core collapse ends up missing, but he's so low. So the storm comes through, doesn't quite hit Babla to finish him off, but Mr. Doxy K ends up running away regardless. There comes the. Uh, is that going to be a double gorder? No, it is not. Not for the time being. Another core collapse does land on Babla. He jumps straight back in. He's going to sacrifice himself. Death Q picks up his ninth kill, and Impunity still. Just pushing forward, finding kill after kill. That Q's gonna go in, we're not done. Oh, Mu has to be able to turn this one around. It's a 1v3 situation. Can he be the player? Crack at knees. Core collapse finishes off Mr. Dog. And he's just trying to kill off Queasy, but he hasn't got enough damage. He uses into the fray to get a bit of distance, but Death Q and Queasy should just be able to finish him off. Heliogenesis after Heliogenesis. Ordained and a basic attack will get the kill. And Impunity might just end it right here, right now. This should be the first game going over to Impunity. They're gonna push up, they're gonna make it doubly sure as they push those minions with them they can just tank this turret but they want to make sure that this is going to be a secured victory for them koshka has respawned it is up to babala babala 1v3 impunity just take this first turret down they're gonna focus the crystal no hope for kraken right now it's gonna fall and impunity will start this series off with a win i think there will be many hats getting eaten at the desk today because that was an unbelievable performance from Impunity. The drafting, it, we all thought it was going to be a double CP. We thought they'd box themselves into this corner. But we forget that weapon power Batiste is a thing. Our closed mind. Not quite yet though. Here goes the central tree on it. Def Q is going to be trying to take that. But Babala is around. Yeah, there's a scout trap in the brush as well. Oh, Def Q, got to be careful, buddy. Special smite. Who actually got that one? I didn't Def quite Q. see. Def Q ended up securing it. Quarterfire is going to follow him up as well. Babala chooses to back off, and that's two for two. Now the Treants to Impunity. They chose to be a little bit more focused in the late game. Defq taking away some of this jungle. He's going to be able to steal it as well. And here comes Quadivar for the backup. Defq just taking away so much of Babala's jungle. You can even see in the CS here. 10 CS actually above the crawl. Oh, they've Defcu found an opportunity. In. Mua might be in a lot of trouble here. Does use the boots to get away. Hops on the broomstick. Core collapse onto the Koshka. Defq in a little bit of trouble as Crystal Sentry was pounding away at him as well. Before Barrage, slowing that cruel down, then he couldn't apply those weakness stacks, couldn't look for an executing blow on Death Q. Got an absolute guaranteed hit of it, and then try and take advantage. Oh, Mu might be in a little bit of trouble here. There's Yummy Cannon Frenzy, can't block it. Core Collapse actually stops Death Q. Death and Rebuff is going to find it as well. The snare just makes sure he can't move, and that is first blood yet again to Team Impunity. They're going to focus down this turret as well. Oh, oh, hang on a second, Sky's in a lot of trouble. Sigil to actually heal him go. up, and there's the first turret as well. The Surf Goal got thrown out. Death Q did end up getting stunned up, but they are in a 2v3. And look at the damage coming out. Death Q jumps in yet again, but actually just gets punished for it this time around. Yeah. One for one, but turret taking the advantage of impunity right now 
That is something you'll have to be very afraid of if you are a Sky specifically. Oh, that goal is going to come down as well. It's going to trap Death Q. Sigil there for the heal. Jump straight on the back line. Trying to take out Mua. Core collapse in. Now we're missing. Solar Storm as well. Went a little bit wide. Yomi Kali Frenzy gets blocked, but it's still going to be able to focus Mua. Creasy trying to find the last hit, but the Helio Genesis actually just finishes off Death Q in the end. Creasy fairly low. Put a passageway into the Bright Bulwark. Bright Bulwark not even available. And that'll be Cordovar going down as well. That's going to be a complete ace for Team Kraken. And they're going to find the gold miner also. Oh, very good at playing around their power spikes, knowing kind of when to go in and actually when to fight. No gauntlet. Core collapse, yeah. Core collapse was actually used as well, so that could be the time to actually go in. Greasy's moving forward. Nice block on the surfboard. Or oh, Yummy Cannon Frenzy gets blocked as well, but it doesn't matter. Greasy is going to get jumped off. Mua going very low. The first gauntlet gets laid down, but he can't lay it down. The second one as the Echo is offline. Greasy just duck dip diving and dodging around the fight. Mua is still alive. Vanguard helps him out. Make sure he is alive for the entirety of the engagement. Passageway used defensively there by Quadvar, but he should just go down as well. Kraken find the ace, and that is a triple kill isn't quite there from impunity right now and therefore you, if you think if, if you think about it that way maybe the poison shiv was just like the better choice kraken are two turrets there are two turrets in the way of kraken right now and securing this game making the making sure the analysts stay wrong on the desk as well they're gonna go for the engagement there the first gauntlet comes in doesn't quite stun anybody just yet but look at the positioning coming out from team kraken just buying time for the kraken to actually knock down impunity's base they haven't really touched it at all there's the army cannon frenzy on the back line core collapse does end up missing as well war Treads is gonna get popped solar storm onto two people but Muri is still alive in the fight just bending off death cube and now impunity have to turn around and deal with this kraken is two-thirds hp scoundrel and they're ignoring it completely babble is gonna focus the turret as well down it goes and there goes the crystal as well if they're not careful babylon ends up falling down at two greasy can they find the kill once dog can they stay in this game and ace for impunity but can oh, they kill the kraken quick enough one more hit will do it kraken winds up swings his fists one more shot kraken take game two that was literal in every sense of the word jaws that does lead Team Kraken actually down to the Acelda tree and we will see our first small engagement, but that'll be Impunity this time around, taking that Elder tree and Mr. Dog in a lot of trouble actually, he had to actually pop the flask at that moment in time to make sure he stays alive. You can see Babalat trampolining away. In fact, he's, in a, he's even even more trouble here. Impunity might just be able to pick up first blood if Team Kraken aren't careful. There's Court of War, they're trying to get the kill over, they do! Death Q scores first blood. Bua, uh, Mua took a long time to catch up to that heavily pushed wave. He's going to rotate down now. Maybe Death Q gets caught out here. Maybe he does. Yeah, Mua is actually popping the flask preemptively. Death Q's in a lot of trouble over the wall from the into the fray. There's the mortal wounds to stop that healing from that flask. Wrong place, wrong oh, time. Death Q oh. Oh, doesn't quite take him out. Mua finally. Managed to pick that one up. In fact, Babala picking that the first one up for Team Kraken. Uh, also, Impunity looks so dominant in day number one, as did Kraken, who came up against G2. But now we're in a best of five situation. It's no longer best of twos. However, Goldminer is going to get started up. Impunity is going to rotate downwards. In fact, they know Kreezy's in the lane. If they burst down this quick enough, Death Q might not have an edge words in. Does use that Rose Offensive bit, and he steals it as well. Big gold boon for them. 400 apiece. He paid for it with his life. But Impunity find the gold miner. Oh, he was calculating that out. The problem now that for Impunity is they've just used the fountain. Kind of unnecessarily, I think, uh, the Black Feather was dead regardless. And they don't have a fountain to defend this turret. And it looks like that's what Team Kraken wants. They're going in hard for this first turret. Oh, they have to at this point. Deku has spawned. Using that red mist to try and clear Great that silence. turret. Big silence. Big corner. But the Crucible is going to be there to get the block. Oh, Babala blocked the initial stun. But now is in a lot of trouble. Queasy is going to be able to follow him up. The Sigil's there. But he has to double back. Queasy finds the kill. And they're going to be able to jump onto Moor as well if they're not careful. Def Q going underneath the <laughs> turret. Forces Mr. Dog actually used to use the flask there as well. So it's going to go down rather rapidly also. Impunity with a smart rotation is going to be able to secure it also. Moor is going to be in the front line. Takes the brunt of the damage. There's the red base to try and get up a healing. But he has to use the into the fray to get out of the fight. Def Q is in a lot of trouble. Sigil only just saving Mua, but they manages to uh, they manage to trade one for one. Unless he wants to go for Slumbering Husk, obviously for the HP as well. But Lull. Exactly. Passageway into the bright ball. Art. Mr. Dog does go for the entry. Look at the damage onto Greasy. He's still alive for the time being, but the Red Mist does find him. And in fact, a spontaneous combustion finishes him off. Death now trying to fight 1v3, but a double kill for Babala will find himself. 
winning the team fight to now be Team Kraken now rotating towards the gold miner. Look, it's considered a movement skill. None of them can be used while Bright Bulwark is active. So if you portal onto the Vox and Bright Bulwark, Arden can't protect them at all. Look at Team Kraken here going for the flank. That's a big corner, locks them all in place. But will it matter? It's a phrase used, but Red Mist is not going to really find anybody. Creasy is still dodging around the fight. The first initial frag lands onto Pavla. Creasy still dug, dip, diving and dodging. There we go. And finds the kill onto Mua. They find the follow up ace as well. The crowd explodes and impunity are going to shove this lane in. Again, the great gauntlet from Quatava. He also held on to all of his skills. Great kiting out by Kisi to get out of the bright ape and then reposition, find that position on Rona once she's used her gap closes. Rona's going to face check. Gonna be fairly careful with that one. Mortal Wound just chunking in. There's the passageway to the bright ball. What the Rhone's delivery assisting, knocking on the doors. Impunity in a lot of trouble, but Creasy popping the boost. Kite's back, and they pick up the kill. They ignore Death Q completely. Passageway followed through yet again. Death Q still sticking on to Mr. Dog. Creasy's gonna be here as well. A double kill for Death Q, and Kraken not yet available, so it will be a gold mine for it. Everybody onto a target, everybody of the same mind. Creasy mines. goes for the flank here. Look at the aggression. The corner stuns two. Passageway out, but Mr. Dog is sent so low, found it to heal them all up, and into the fray, stead on top of Creasy, but they've got their eyes on Mr. Dog. Pavela is going to trampoline away yet again, Impunity are in the base of Team Kraken, they're going to have to be fairly careful. Def Q and QC should be able to get out of this one alive, Dive darting backwards, Sonic Zoo, but looking at damage down to Mua, out of the fray used to get out of danger. Spontaneous combustion forces the fountain out of Impunity. They will be able to back off here. That was a risky situation. Team Kraken aren't quite done yet, though. Babala wants to continue this pressure. Yeah, they are following up, and the Kraken is available here. Impunity not quite ready to start that one up. Deku was fairly, fairly low, but just used it for the movement. And now Team Kraken, actually. Babala might be committing to this one here. Dog is actually trying to stop the recalls. You see marching forward, but... Creasy not being able to do all too much right now. They have to wait for Deku in this situation, actually. Babala lets the Kraken reset them. But Kraken, again, just need that one pin-perfect engage to take out that Vox and win this fight. There's the passageway into the bulwark yet again. Rona delivery system straight on top of Creasy. The gauntlet separates them. This is perfect. Mr. Dog sent extremely low. Has to back out of the fight initially. But Creasy just stacking up that breaking point already on five. Uh, ten stacks, sorry. Cordovar going fairly low as well. But they're just going to clean up. Clean house. And the house explodes as well. Mua is going to fall. And Impunity find the ace as their crowd arrives once again. Impunity at every single time. Arden has been 100% win rate this series. If this is going to be an Impunity win, it's looking like it's stacking up that way. Obviously, there's still the chance for a Team Kraken turnaround, but Arden has been a massive impact across all of these games. Well, same situation. Impunity were in last game with the Kraken only standing between, uh, between two turrets and that crystal. Now Team Kraken are going to have to back off. You know, a little bit chunked out from the Vox. They're just going to have to protect this Kraken now as it does march on. And Death Q yesterday showed us how good he is at this CP Black Feather. He was amazing yesterday on that particular pick. Passage Here we go. Way of the Bright Bulwark, trampoline forward from Babala. He's in a good situation right now. Wait for it will come out. It does end up getting blocked, I believe. But look at Babala's health bar falling. Death Q is left completely alone on the back line, forces the petal away. Kraken takes one turret. There's the corner separating Mr. Dog. And Mua is just sent so, so low. No healing from the Serpent's Mask. Sentences him back to base. And that'll be Deku jumping on the petal. Babala retreats. Spontaneous combustion for the heal. But this could very well be a two to one victory for Impunity here. If they can find this game, they'll be sent to match point as well. They're going to go onto the crystal. Can Mr. Dog and Babala do anything? I don't think so. As Impunity a match point to one win away from proceeding to tomorrow. And the crowd cheers as Impunity put themselves on the cusp of a semi-final. The home team. They're going to go straight for that other train yet again. Oh, close. That close there. Close. Double Elder Tree on Nova Kraken. Rode straight on top of the Celeste. Did get away using that sigil put out from Quart d'Ivoire. This Lyra is going to be such a pain, especially when it gets the next couple of levels as well. Thing is, Mr. Dog is slightly ahead in XP in that regard as well. Got to keep that in mind. Wait, he, ha he has been sharing the jungle experience from those heavy, aggressive jungle rotations. Into play, straight on top of QC once more. That damage is ridiculous. Nice call collapse onto two. Solar Storm as well is going to hit Mua. But the Winter Spires are going to trade back a lot of damage as well. Ordain is there once again. Mu is a little bit caught out. Has got into the fray to get out of there if he cho chooses to use it. Just waits out the duration. They're going to reset.
Bouncing down right now for uh, Team Kraken. Impunity have that regeneration of the Lyra. They're going to look for a siege onto this turret. They have a good opportunity to do so. The supernova start ticking. Oh, Moo is so low. Fearsome Shade doesn't quite catch him either. Mr. Dog is sent running. But look at how healthy that turret is right now. That's a sixth HP. Now just going to be able to just Helio, a couple of Helio gens should finish it off. And that'll be the first turret going down to Impunity. A lot of that CC as well. And even Deku has picked up his own reflex block. Oh, right, Bulwark used fairly early there. This could be pretty big. Valkyrie doesn't quite land. Nice fish and shape for the disengage yet again. Deku has been on point. There's the goal against oh, Blot! Impunity are now going to be able to march forward. Solar Storm hitting three members. They're going to be able to push forward here. Dragon's Eye still stacking up. Can't quite find anything else though. They are in a corridor. Those Winter Spires are going to start to hurt. Into the fray used. Nice snare. And in fact, the Ordain isn't going to get, get the stun on Tamua just yet. I mean, Mr. Dog still charging forwards, but Heliogenesis are raining down the sustains there from the Lyra. Nice stun, uses the Ordain as well. First oh! blood to Impunity. Fearsome Shade sends Mua packing as well. Kraken, they lose another member. A double kill for Creasy. And that'll be Quadavar cornering Mua as well. This could be an extremely early ace. Ordain is there. Triple kill for Creasy. And Impunity start the game off strong. And Impunity know exactly how to play around the compositions that Kraken are throwing them, pacing backwards, disengaging when Rona drives in and then when Rona's caught with no movement left, they're able to pace back and use those supernovas and the CC that they have to get lots and lots of um, ordains off. He's mainly looking to, to sort of protect and disengage for Kisi. He's not looking to go for the damage from the Shattered Glass because it's against the heavy Bruiser team. There's the block. Fearsome Shade's going to get blocked. There comes the Gauntlet as well. The cage is being laid down. Kisi in a 1v3. Can't quite find the core class, but he's still alive. He's raised one for one in the end. Excoundrel, how did he do that? Death Hughes moving forwards. Mua is going to have to retreat here. Babala, even him. Oh, Elder Tree. Oh, the tree end. That was so close, but it doesn't matter. Those bad mojos are really starting to stack up using the boots to get a little bit of distance nice route babala is invincible at this moment in time but another fearsome shade rattles through team kraken into the fray used to jump on top of death queue mua finds his first kill of the game and they're just going to chase quarter of our round a little bit too late for the ace should be able to get out with a passageway but they're just going to keep following this one up yeah not going to get the ace here quarter of our should be able to get away as much as mua wants to stress down Oh. Had to back off as the rest of his team were trapped up in the lane. This is like a half CP, half utility. It's like two captains, but the second captain deals a bit of damage at the same time. Another Ordain lands on Bubbler. He's going to let it time out. Valkyrie still available. He's going to get... The oh! Did end up going a little bit wide as well. And this could be Impunity with the advantage here. They are moving forwards. Winter Spires are landing. Another Ordain onto Bubbler. Core Collapse doesn't end up landing. Mua jumps straight in. The Red Mist is going to turn three people alive. But the Fearsome Shade was good. Another one lands as well. That sends Dog packing and QC once more. Left all alone oh, by the, the five. Collapse. But the Core Collapse onto two people. Ends up killing Mr. Dog off. And now it's Mua, the last carry alive for Team Kraken to clear up this fight. Or at least try to. Bubble Lab is going crazy low. But Kruisi is just surviving the entirety. The sustain coming out from the Celeste is way too much for them to deal with. Babala is going to go down. An a ace. double kill and an ace for Kruisi. And they're going to break open the base of Team Kraken. There's nothing that Team Kraken can do here. Abs the crowd just explodes as soon as Impunity won that fight. Team Kraken now going for another engagement. It seems they just want to fight. There's the call of the Crucible's going to block it. Red Mist onto three people. Another Gauntlet comes down as well. Quadavar's going to get trapped off. Fearsome Shade onto three people. Miss that dog is going so low. Nice Solar Storm as well. Here's three. And Creasy just destroying Pablo in the back line. The shield from Vanguard is going to keep him alive for the time oh, being. Heliogenesis for the double kill. And Death Q should just be able to clean up Mua here as well. Ordain's going to trap him in place. And Quadavar is just there just playing with their food at this current moment in time another ace could come through as well unless he can get out oh there's the portal portal ordains mua wrong place wrong time sustain from the serpent's mask but it's not gonna matter an ace for impunity ace after ace and we are this close as well to seeing playoff beard have his beard shaved on stage as well <laughs> kraken is being taken though it's scoundrel look at where babalab is positioning right here and you can see mua is nowhere near either this is going to be a miracle steal nice block on the fearsome oh, shade there we go. Right, impunity secure it ordain is going to come down and this is where they need to fight by time for the kraken team kraken though 
trying to at least chip it down for the time being. Impunity very hesitant right now to actually go for the full on engage. Oh, look at the heal from Lyra now as well. Fully stacked. Everybody back to full health. They're going Passage aggressive. way into the Bright Bulwark as well. The Ryan gets snared up. They lay the cage down to stop them going for the engagement. QC walks into it, gets stunned up, ordained onto the dog. Core collapse actually lands as well onto Babylon. This team fight, the longer it extends, the more strong QC gets as well. Core collapse, Solar Storm onto three members. Another Heliogensis secures the kill. Impunity setting their sights on the semi finals. Fine to the dog, the only member left alive. And remember, the Kraken is destroying Team Kraken's base. He's going to fall in the end to a bad mojo. The crowd erupts. The ace comes through. In a paradoxical turn of events, the Kraken takes down Team Kraken. The mad scientist, Quatrevoir and Impunity. Unbelievable performance. They have looked incredible. Team across. Kraken falls and Impunity make it to the semi-finals. What a performance from them. What a performance from them. Unbelievable. Relish this moment. Singapore finds themselves in that semi-final and they looked so good from draft, from theory crafting, from execution, everything looked top tier. The crowd fully behind them every step of the way.